After winning its second national championship, the BYU rugby team has much to celebrate. Grace Thomas sits down with coaches and players to find out just what it takes to become the best in the nation. They have their title. The trophy will go to Provo with the Cougars. Receiving the title of national championship is quite the payoff for a team that has put in countless hours of practice to get where they are today. This is the ninth straight year that the BYU rugby team has made it to the playoffs. After the past couple years that I've been involved in, you know, we just came up, came up a little short in the championship game. So this year, you know, we saw we had a lot of guys returning. We knew that we would have great, um, great potential with this team. Um, the talent that we have on this team was just unbelievable. And so we knew that if we, you know, if we came together as a team, that we would be able to do amazing things this year. Sean Davies in the open field. He's got support. There is Paul Lasiki. Lasiki off to Tua Laai. And Laai is in for the try. The Cougars battled it out against the Arkansas State Red Wolves at the Rio Tinto Stadium on May 20th, bringing home their second national championship. Absolutely amazing. It feels it feels great. It's yeah, it's just been it's been a great past few days. Uh, it feels awesome. Yeah, it's great. Uh, good to finally get the monkey off the back and to, to get another national championship. There was a great atmosphere. We had you know great fans and just being out there with all the guys we've you know been practicing with, working hard with. It was, just, uh, it was a surreal experience. It was awesome. Oh, Sua. Sua stretches over, runs two over, and stretches for the try. Well, even so what exactly does it take to become the nation's best? Well, you know, the preparation started last uh, September uh, when we got back into school in the fall semester. Uh, all the boys are on a strength and conditioning program for the, the fall. Uh, we do a little bit of practice, but not so much then. Then we really get going heavy in January. You know, we just we put in the hard work. Uh, we practice hard. We put in the hours. We, you know, we put in the time, and you know, we just we do some amazing things this year. So it was a fun season. We call it extras. We do a lot of extras. So we have our uh, our trainings every night, and we we do extras on our own. Like we go running and we uh, we lift. Our boys really put their heart and soul into it, you know, they have to take their academics pretty seriously, so it comes down to being well organized. I knew that if we gave it everything, uh, with our combination of players and the skill sets that we have, I knew that we, we were going to win and I just had to give it everything I had. I knew that my brothers around me were going to do the same and I, know, I just kept calm and we did what we did. And they did what they do best, closing the season undefeated. You know, losing was never an option for this team, and with a record of 17-0, I think, you know, that's fairly evident. While the talent of these players are undeniable, their commitment to each other and the gospel help these young men stand out. We start every, every game day with a devotional, and we, we sing hymns, and we, we pray, and we give spiritual messages. I don't think there's any other team in the country that does that, to be able to go out and know that my brothers on the field uh, can help me uh, and more than just rugby off the field as well. They can help me in making me become a better person. If you want to learn more about BYU Rugby or participate in their sports camp, you can visit their website www.byurugby.com. It's definitely a great day to be a Cougar. Grace Thomas, BYU Weekly.